Hello everyone, my name is Dracutnik Rose and welcome back to another episode of RimWorld Alpha 16. Now, between episodes, I went into developer mode and started some rain on the home area. Not this one, did this, this, this one happened on its own. Really? Uh, but in the home area, I did start some rain, which I now have ended, just so we could clear out all of the blood. Because it was starting to bother me. Well, there's still a bunch of blood here, but those are mining caves. There's no real benefit to cleaning that. Uh, but here, this dry, uh, dry, rainy thunderstorm really started on its own. And, well, it's gonna keep going for a bit, apparently. Nothing I can do there. And how is the food here? They still have some pemmican and they need to fix that. But hopefully I can get them some more berries. Yes. And now here we are still on the mining, Garrett doing a great job. Looks like he alone can do good progress. Oh, I did forget to grab a new restriction for our new friend Leela, who shall be renamed this episode. Alright, I have checked my records and Leela's new name will be da -da -da -da, Jesse Wright. Welcome to the colony, Jesse. Hope you'll have a long and prosperous stay. Well, a short stay, because I hope to get you off this planet as soon as possible. Let's uh, harvest these. It's very well. A psychic drill, that's not really good. Fire everywhere. Also not good, but um, I can aim with not like they have a lot to do, so they can just deal with the fire. Up on this side, uh, is this pod ready yet? No! Because reasons, that pod is apparently jinxed. Or some sort of similar thing. Uh, Jesse. I, can't I really make you hold this pod? No? Okay, I'll cancel the load again. One of these days, it will work. You'll get all that pemmican. You will get seven components, because I noticed one of the refrigerators is down. Uh, you will also get the rest in slate. Hopefully this time won't be too much to ask. That hen is eating some, but I think we have enough otherwise. I think as long as the components go... Yep, they're in. A pupper took some of the pemmican back inside. That's okay. More cargo pots. Ooh, Synthred. Very good. We like that. Is it done yet? No. Yes, it is still doing things. Hauling more pemmican. And nothing else. Does that mean the... Transport pod is ready. Honestly, doesn't seem to be, but you know what? I... Pemmican times zero is missing. Yes, I would like to launch it anyway. That's clearly bugged. No point in reporting that bug since this is a very old alpha. Oh, look at the progress Garrett has made. Very good. 
The transport pods have arrived. Nice. So they can now do all the things they need, including finally getting a proper fridge. I'm sure their food will appreciate. Look at all the granite they have. Jeez. Soon they'll be the ones supplying the other colony. Oh, if they have that much granite, I might as well make use of it. Make a fancy granite bathroom. Mm, well... I don't have much of in the way of fancy, so... It'll just be the usual. And the slate circulars... There. Very slowly but surely. Things getting made. So Sean is making sure we have some very good clothing. Which I am very appreciative of. And with the... Ooh, actually... No. Here is going to save any components we get. Because we are now researching component assembly. And building the assembler takes a bunch of components itself. So what we really should be doing is... Uh, before you go... No. Uh, call in for a, another bulk goods trader caravan. And the, the alliance, the Isiva it, 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 alliance. You can also request a trade caravan from them. Good. That should make it easier to get all of the components we need. Why doesn't he finish the darn lines? Uh, it's okay, it's unimportant. It's a little annoying, that's all. And there is of course still the rest of the map to explore. Hopefully in this one there will be some more uh, components. Uh, we are done with a few of these corpses, so I can do another row now. This is extremely good. I hear harvesting. Oh, here we go. Mental B is doing uh, his best. On made a hat. And that is a normal Synthred cowboy hat. Very stylish. Barto's going to work on the graves. On one grave. Four dates, pemmican. Playing chess, cleaning. Well, I'm definitely not against all the cleaning. Jesse is doing a good job hauling, but I definitely want corpses to not be allowed here. We need them to get cremated instead of carted around. Yes, good job, Jesse. That is exactly what we want. Oh, look at that, some synth red overalls. That we apparently did not collect. Okay, out on this side, they could definitely use uh, making a refinery. Uh, maybe make
make a little room for it, yeah? Good, good. Uh, yes. Very decent. That will start producing... Eventually, actually, it will start producing the chem fuel that will be needed to send people to the next station. Ooh. And who will be the lucky ones who will visit the next way station? Well, that is something I have not thought about it yet. As usually, whoever cooks needs to stay, so it will probably be... Uh, no, I need a constructor, need one to stay here as well. So, Jesse might actually be leaving. As well as Erebus and... Bartos. No, Mental B. Mental B will be the one to go. Well, eventually this place will have to be abandoned. That's just how it will be going. Any more components over here? Not really. Mm. Lots of chicken eggs to haul. That's why we enjoy having dedicated haulers. The oh puppy puppies puppies coming. So no one is really training them. That's that's okay. Once the last people leave this place, um, I'll just leave the turrets up and make my way to the stars. Ah, it will be glorious. Oh, mysterious blight. I'm sorry, Mental B. Local rat has gone mad, and a group of mechanoids are dropping right on top. Oh dear. Sean. Erebus. Jesse. Bartos right behind. Uh, Garrett, you stay. Mental be there. And Sean is already in position. Let's see how much of a disaster this will be. I would like you all to focus on one of them. Okay, Bartos, come here. Because you can't shoot otherwise. Hopefully they'll be distracted by the chickens. Okay, one is down. And so is the other. Good job, everyone. That was relatively easy. I heard that. I definitely heard that. There's one still alive. Well, um, hmm. But where? I don't see it. And yes, I do now realize the irony of me cheating to make it rain and the game just being all, oh, I guess. I can make it right now. Um, I hear it. I don't see it. Where is it?
Is that a bug? I also don't see anyone running. Oh, it's the rat! That, that should solve it. That's what was the problem. I completely forgot about the rat, like immediately. Yes, that's just how I prioritize the <laughs> the threat. Just completely forgot about the rat. Wasn't exactly much of a threat, let's be honest. It was just a little rat standing about. Okay, that thing didn't get forbidden because it's in the home area. Garrett is doing his best. Another escape pod. This time a person named Emmy who... Uh, yeah, I kind of don't want to help them. Your skills are very not good. Incapable of violence. I mean, I could use the cooking, but... Uh, incapable of violence. Sorry, Emmy. You had very bad luck. But I've chosen another planet to fall on. No. Harvesting and stuff. Oh. Harvest time in this area. That's nice. And that. Generator. Yep. That generator can definitely keep up with the power demands. That's actually nice. And our bulk goods traders have arrived. Hopefully, with more components for us. I was gonna say, did, did we finally get to the, the part where Bartos actually mines? But no, no we didn't. They're just hauling. Garrett, come trade with Herman. Come on. Let's see then. That's uh, about it. Thank you! Now the other ones, chicken, we'll just take those components, and I think that was good enough for that part of for solar flare, of course. And he's gonna plant anyway, I'm just gonna die. Oh dear. At least the Devil's Strand might still be harvested. It would be annoying if they needed skill 10 to harvest it. I have this also set to use all of the rotten mush, yeah. So for some reason, the rotten mush isn't being used. Or they just didn't get around to it. At least right now other things get done since, well, they really can't use the electricity. Oh dear, there's still a lot of fire around here. Really bad fire that has just burned down our generator. Oh darn it. And here I thought the fire watcher would help. Oh, clearly not. Uh, crankier, they see you can't fight fire, can you? No. 
Well, nothing I can really do for them, just... When I have to let this fire run its course and then... Thanks. I'm actually going to do a thing on this side, which is... Add the entire place to the home area. That way, future fires... Mm, will hopefully not be able to spread this much. Oh dear, that 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 was bad. <sighs> we'll get there. It's okay. We'll get there. But so that will be it for this episode. I will let the game run and come back when something interesting happens. Until then. <gasps> well, uh. And until then, nothing. I can help her. Manage areas. I don't know what animal area one is, but I'll make a new Narda area. And keep her there. Narda, please move. Do not burn! <sighs> Cat, you you will be the death of me this game. If she dies, we lose. I hope you all know that. Well, it's raining. I'll see you next episode. Bye! Thank you so much to my patrons for making this channel possible. Click the Patreon logo to become one of these fine folk. And if you enjoyed the video, here are some more YouTube things you would like. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Have a lovely day, and I'll see you next time.